Hi, Cheryl. Look, I want to talk about Marco's condition. His physical problem. Um, Tomo? The charge nurse said you were waiting till I knocked off. Yeah, hi. Uh, I was wondering if we could have a cup of coffee and maybe kind of, you know, talk about Marco's condition. His condition? Yeah, his physio and stuff. And if there's anything I can do to help, you know, that sort of thing. Well, isn't that thoughtful? I wish all our patients had a friend like you. Oh, just being a mate, that's all. So you'll come? Of course, I think it's a great idea. Where do you want to go? I know a place right near here. This is nice. Yeah. It's not bad. Hey, uh, why don't you head out the back and see if you can find us a table. I'll order us a couple of coffees. OK. Black, please. G'day, Glor. Who is that? Me new girlfriend. Really? Yep. It's getting pretty serious, too. Oh, that was pretty quick, considering that you did not have a girlfriend yesterday. Well, you know how it is. And when you find a girl like Cheryl... Cheryl? Where did you meet her? Oh, she's Marco's nurse at the hospital. Oh, oh, yes, I've heard about her. She's the one who organised the little party. Oh, she's supposed to be a real sweetie. Congratulations, Tomo! What can I get you both? Two black coffees. I'll bring them over. Thanks. Don't keep her waiting. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's Marco, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Tomo, it's really nice of you to worry about him so much, but there is a good chance he'll walk again, you know. Honest? I wouldn't say it if there wasn't. I'm sure you can come down to the hospital and help out with the physio. I mean, that's if you really want to get involved. This has made my day. Poor Tomo has been looking for a girlfriend for a very, very long time. And we're all starting to think he'd never find one, weren't we? Yes. And so when he told me about you, it was like, oh, it is just so gorgeous to see the two of you here together. Beautiful.